guys welcome back to my channel so today I decided to do a really simple fall daytime smoky look <laughs> this is a super simple look really really easy I mean you can find these colors literally anywhere I did this look when I was rushing to church in like 10 minutes not even there's no falsies or anything for this look. You can totally skip the liner as well if you'd like. Uh, I just added it because, I don't know, I feel like every look is complete with liner. I didn't even use foundation or concealer for this look. If you guys are interested, just keep on watching. I'm going to start off with this Milani Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadow in Bella Gold and apply this all over the lid. Such a beautiful gold. Next, I'm going to take this Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Creme Brulee and apply that in the crease. Now I'm going to take the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Coco Bear and apply that into the outer corner of the crease to just give the look a little bit more depth. This color reminds me of cocoa powder like for hot cocoa like the consistency and everything it just I feel like I'm applying cocoa powder it was very perfectly named cocoa bear for the inner corner highlight and the brow bone highlight I'm just taking a champagne color this is super easy to find you can literally find it anywhere I'm not even sure where this is from I believe I remember getting this in an ipsy bag but um, if I do find out the name, I'll either have it up somewhere here or down below in the description box. But just any champagne color will work. I'm just gonna spray my brush with a little bit of setting spray just to make the eyeshadow a little bit more intense. So I just recently saw the new Thor Ragnarok movie um, which is when I was filming the eyeshadow look. I was getting ready for the movie. The green eyeshadow look. And... Oh my gosh. Loki was hilarious. I mean, the whole movie was hilarious. Everyone was hilarious. I, I freaking loved it. If you haven't seen it, you're missing out. You're totally missing out. I mean, I, I even liked Hulk in the movie. And I normally... Do not like Hulk, like at all. But he was actually really funny in the movie as well. He was. If you haven't seen it, I'm telling you. And I went on opening day. <sighs> so it was so crowded. Oh my gosh. People were like cramming in for seats. And <sighs> oh my gosh. And there are so many people that saved like whole rows of seats, which I hate when they do that. <sighs> but um, we finally got seats like all the way in the top corner. Like, oh my gosh, <laughs> it was totally worth it. It was totally worth it. I loved the movie. If you haven't seen it, please, please go see it. I'm going to fill in my eyebrows real quick and I will be right back. For when I wore this look before for church, I did do eyeliner. It's totally up to you. Um, you can just do mascara, of course. But I kind of want to do eyeliner. I'm going to do a quick little wing and I will be right back. So I created the wing and now I'm going to curl my lashes. And apply some mascara. I didn't apply mascara on the bottom lashes yet because I totally forgot to apply eyeshadow on the bottom. I'm just going to take a pencil brush and then dip into the Bella Gold eyeshadow by Milani. I'm just mirroring what we did on top, pretty much. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the Cocoa Bear to the outer edge. I just want a little bit more depth for the bottom lash line. So I'm going to take this dark brown and smudge that right there. That dark brown, in case you're wondering, is from the Morphe 25A palette, I think. 
I think it's called like copper spice or something like that, but you can literally find a deep brown anywhere. Now I'm going to apply some eyeliner on the waterline and tightline with it as well. This is the CoverGirl uh, Liquiline in black. Now I'm going to go ahead and add mascara to the bottom wash line. In case you're wondering, the mascaras that I used was the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Mascara and the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara. So that's it pretty much for the eyes. And like I said before, I normally don't ever wear foundation when I'm going out. And I am planning on going out today. So I'm going to skip the foundation for today. It is totally up to you guys. If you normally wear foundation, go for it. But since I normally don't, I am just going to jump into this banana powder from Oprah Cosmetics. And just brighten up my under eye. I just apply the banana powder everywhere that I normally apply highlight. Sometimes I don't even bother with this <laughs> because I'm just so uh, either in a rush, which is most of the time, or I'm too lazy. <laughs> But when I do have time and when I do feel like I want to look a little bit more awake, then that is when I do these extra steps. Anyways, back to Marvel. I remember watching those cartoons as a kid and just, I don't know, I never expected it to be like this huge thing like how it is now, you know? And when I was a kid, my favorite was Spider-Man. Like my favorite superhero of all, like Marvel and DC, was Spider-Man. I just thought he was so hot. <laughs> so I had this huge crush on him. And Spider-Man like in the mask, Spider-Man, which is so weird because I don't know, I didn't think Peter Parker was hot, but I thought Spider-Man was hot. And yet I hate spiders. <sighs> I don't know, I'm a complicated person. I'm just going to bronze slash contour a little bit with this uh, Wet n Wild contouring palette in Caramel Toffee. The first Marvel movie that I saw was actually Iron Man 1 and I don't know, was that the first one that came out? I don't know. But I was hooked ever since. But I will say that I have not seen any of the Hulk Marvel movies. I just don't like Hulk at all. I don't know. I just, to me, he's just not a superhero. He, like, can't differentiate who's good and who's bad, you know? He just attacks. My favorite Marvel superheroes have to be Captain America. He's so handsome. <laughs> and, um, Iron Man. He's just, he's so, you can't help but love him. I don't know. But... I'm totally wanting Marvel to come out with a Black Widow movie. When is that gonna happen? Come on. Come on, Marvel. Let's go, let's go. I need a Black Widow movie pronto. I think her movie would be so interesting. Oh my gosh. So I'm waiting for the day when they finally announce that a Black Widow movie is coming out. I'd be so sad if they didn't. Who is your favorite uh, Marvel superhero? Not just Marvel. Marvel, DC, whatever. What do you prefer? Marvel or DC? And who is your favorite superhero? Let me know down below. Uh, I'm not a fan of DC. <laughs> I never have been, really. But I did go see Wonder Woman and literally probably be the only DC movie that I see. No, I don't like Ben Affleck as Batman. And the Flash? No, he is not Barry Allen. No, I like the the series, The Flash. You know, Grant Gustin. Oh my gosh, he is so adorable. He should have been Flash. He is the Flash. But this other guy, I don't know who this is. Anyways, <laughs> I can just talk forever about Marvel. For blush, I'm actually going to mix two blushes. Um, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild 
color icon blush in Mellow Wine, which is this one. It's really pretty. And I'm going to put Milani's Luminoso right on top just to give a little bit of a sheen. I don't know if you can tell, but that Luminoso just gives like just a healthy glow to the skin. For highlight, since this is kind of like an everyday look, um, I, well, for me at least, for some people it might be like a full blown out look, but for me it's an everyday look. Um, but yeah, since it is kind of, you know, not a super flashy look, I either don't add highlight or I go very subtle on the highlight. So for this look, I'm going to use the uh, Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana bronzer. It's labeled as a bronzer, but if you want to wear highlight for work or something like that, I would highly suggest this bronzer. For the lips, I'm going to be using this Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Raw Chocolate. Now I'm just going to set my face using a setting spray and we'll be done. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! I'm going to do a quick little ring. Ring. Okay. Now I'm just going to um, apply some... Now I'm just going to apply some... Uh, now I'm going to apply some eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. What? No. Now I'm going to apply some. Oh my gosh, what is this? Eyeliner? <sighs> Spray and. Whoa. It's just not one of my videos without me dropping something. I really want to do like a challenge video, but I always see like YouTubers do like if. I reached this many subscribers, I'll do this challenge or something. So if you guys have any ideas, please let me know. And, and nothing scary. <laughs> be, be easy on me, please. <laughs> or even do my, my uh, husband's makeup. Yeah. Pretty sure I can convince him. I don't know. <laughs>